In its broadest sense, pride means living openly and freely, and I recognize that I am very privileged to have the ability to navigate this world uh, freely as a gay woman when so many other people face a lack of compassion, discrimination, and persecution in their daily lives. Um, pride means using that privilege to empower those whose voices aren't heard as loudly um, and to ensure that people of all genders and orientations feel that they can celebrate who they are without fear, uh, both in society and in the workplace. At the end of the day for me, Pride Month is really a time to celebrate the achievements we've had as a community and as a people, all the advances toward equality that have been made, but it's also a very somber time of reflection to acknowledge that there are still numerous challenges facing our broader community both here in the U.S. and abroad. And we really have an opportunity and a responsibility to tell our stories and to continue to advocate for equal treatment of our peers um, who are facing discrimination in the workplace. What I like to do during Pride Month is recommit myself to pro bono service to members of our community who are struggling and don't have resources available to them and to you know reflect on how far I've come personally it's not just about gay women or gay men it's about the intersectionality of um, all peoples and so for me that means bringing compassion to work, bringing a willingness to understand others and where they come from. And I really do believe that when we accept people for who they are without reservation and we create a supportive environment, it's easier for colleagues to become friends over time and for those friends to become like family. And when you create a work culture of inclusion with those dynamics, uh, we all benefit, our firm, um, ourselves personally, and our clients, of course, because they're getting the best versions of who we are. I do think we've made a lot of progress since um, when I started out in this career, but what concerns me, frankly, is all of the backlash um, that has occurred in the last few years, politically, across the country, globally. People in, in our community still face violence, still face workplace discrimination, our children face discrimination in schools, um, and it creates a, a level of hostility in the discourse um, that of course impacts my life daily, my family's life daily. Um, we live with that. We live again with a, an element of fear that I think we took for granted how far we've come to live without that. So I worry about the current state um, and what that means um, for my family, but also people who um, don't have the privileges that I have um, to navigate the world um, as a lawyer who knows their rights. I do hope that this is short-lived and the next 10 years shows, again, a level of compassion and understanding so that people at the end of the day can live their lives, can contribute um, in meaningful ways to our society, and, and don't have to worry about discrimination, about violence, about living in the shadows and hiding who they are. It's amazing to me that when I started my career, I was the only out woman, and now I am among many colleagues here at Holland and Knight. So I do think the younger generation has shown tremendous courage and bravery in, in being themselves and being out and proud at work, carrying the torch um, that many of us had to carry. And I think they see um, the importance of being them, their authentic selves in the workplace.
sharing their stories, living their lives. And I, I really do believe that with that level of passion and intentionality, we will continue to foster an environment at our firm and continue to um, direct resources to our community uh, to support them in their struggles.